Now they transport the 200-pound predator to safer territory, deep under the African savanna. They expect the solitary hunter to leave on its own. But even with careful preparation, there's a problem. Okay, obviously the leopard is not quite ready to leave the cage. So maybe it would be a good idea to just sit back and let the animal leave on its own time. But no, instead, someone who should know better is wrapping on the side of the cage. The big cat won't budge from her cage. The ranger tries giving a nudge in the right direction. But the animal shows her displeasure by baring 32 knife-like teeth. Human stupidity has yet to peak in this situation. It's just warming up. I mean, the signs are all there. That cat is telling you to back off. You're just not getting the message. Soon, the irritated carnivore wants more than freedom. The ferocious feline hurdles to the truck cab. Bearing claws designed for eviscerating prey. Panicking, the ranger grasps for the window crank and makes a grave error. He rolls the glass down instead of up. Salutations, campers. Today, we're going to take a moment to learn a little about part number 321-837-581, commonly known as a window crank. There is one of these levers on each front door of the van, and they are used to roll the front windows up or down. While this seems relatively simple, this small lever shoulders quite a load of force each time the window is opened or closed. Let's take a closer look. The window crank is attached by a single Phillips head screw to a spline shaft on the window regulator, which is housed inside the front door cavity. When we turn the crank, it utilizes a worm gear to move the flexible shaft back and forth through the regulator. Affixed to the opposite end of this flexible shaft is the window glass carrier. This bracket is bolted to the window, carrying it up or down in the door. Here we can see that this flexible shaft must move through a path of some resistance. These bends in the regulator and the engaging worm drive are all spots that require a bit of extra force to be put on the crank lever. As long as our regulator stays clean and free of debris, however, our window will operate fluidly. But if our window comes out of adjustment here at the glass carrier mounting, or if the channels it moves through here in the window opening become blocked, our crank lever requires more force to move. The most common result if either of these problems are present is breaking the window crank. Even brand new window cranks were never meant to tolerate such force. We are unable to sell our window cranks with a warranty for this very reason. In an instant, she's capable of puncturing her quarry's throat with a single bite. Yeah, it's safe to say that leopard is putting undue pressure onto that window crank. And I don't think they'll be honoring the warranty. Hi, so you don't care about having hate flags on your wall? I don't get it with these numb nuts. No, really. They think that they're accomplishing something, creating these confrontations and recording it onto their cell phone and then uploading it onto the internet. They think that they're doing good, righting a wrong. But the only thing that they're accomplishing is showing the world what happens when you sell a smartphone to a dumb shit. Huh? How's that hate flag? A Confederate a flag is a symbol of slavery and lynching and raping of black people. That was 150 years ago. No, really, get over it, really. Black people and all you self-loathing, ethno-masochistic white people, get over it. Slavery is dead. The Confederacy is dead. It's history. Bruh, it's a hate sin. I'm Mexican. What are you Good. About? I'm telling you that's a I'm hate symbol. It's not, it's, yes, it is. What does that got to do with anything? I know my history. A Confederate black flag. The black people the one did the Confederate flag, not white people. Black people. What are you talking about? That's a symbol of slavery. That's like having a swastika on your wall. It's no different. I have listened to this video over and over and over again, and I'm not quite sure what he means by this, or what he's actually saying, because she's talking over him. But it sounds like he's saying, 
black people want to get this flag, not white people. I'm not sure if he means black people are getting the flag from his store, buying it from his store, not white people, or if it's black people that want to get rid of the flag, not white people. I really don't understand what he's saying because of her. But let's put that aside for a minute and talk about this item. This is a Confederate flag made into a rug. A rug that is most likely going to be laid out on the floor for people to step on. Food and drinks are going to be spilt on it. Pets and babies are going to be pissing on it. Hey, wrap your head around this. Now, if he means that black people are buying this flag from him, well, then that makes all the sense in the world, in light of what I just said. This is shameful. This is everyday deals here in southeast Portland. And this is where I usually do some grocery shopping. But today we are in here and we spot a Confederate flag. Southeast Portland. So that would be Portland, Oregon, not Portland, Maine. This girl is likely a transplant from California. If that's the case, it's our gain and Portland's loss. And yes, I meant to say it that way. Over there on the, on the wall. And they don't care. Bye, bitch. Get your kids out of here. Look at this liberal. Yeah, look at this little whiny bitch here. Hi. Hillary supporter, Bernie supporter, which one do you vote for at law? Is that why you're in a bad mood? No, I'm in a bad mood because there's hate symbols on the wall, and I brought my kids in here, and now I have to see hate signs. Yeah, and one of your kids is an infant. You're carting around in a device appropriated from another culture, you racist bitch. So, again, this is this place. Don't ever shop here. Please let them know. They have two huge-ass rugs hanging that are Confederate flags on the wall. Uh, and yeah, their response to me was to tell me I'm a bitch. No, actually, the first words out of anybody's mouth was hi from the Mexican guy. And then you proceeded to give him a verbal tongue lashing. You set the tone. And then the other guy called you a bitch as well, give you the finger and told you to leave. Let me alone so I can get out of here. Let me leave so I can get my kids out of here. Please leave me alone. I have to look, close them in their car seats. Let me be. Get, do not get any closer to me. Do not get any closer to me. Do not. Okay. Seriously, please, please do call the police. This is ridiculous. Get away from me. He's a half a football field away from you and showing no signs of aggression. It's all coming from you. You're walking towards me. Two men who are calling me a dumb bitch are approaching me in the, in the parking lot. And I have two small children. Get away from me so I can load my kids up and leave. You stop running your mouth. You can load your kids up. I'm at work. You're at work. Yeah, I'm at work right here. So what are you doing? I'm trying to leave. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Why are you recording? Just leave. Why are you do not get close because you're approaching me in a in a parking lot. I have two small children. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Walk away from me. Do not. I cannot leave when you keep approaching me from back. I was stopping in my car seat and you're coming up from behind me. This is horrifying. Yes, you are a very horrifying woman. I feel sorry for your kids. They have a psycho bitch for a mother. Leave me alone. Go away. Please tell him to leave me alone. He just assaulted me in the store, called me a fucking bitch. And now he's following with me on two kids. Get away from me. Oh, my God. Where were you assaulted? I have been watching for four and a half agonizing minutes. Nobody laid a finger on you. If somebody physically assaulted you, why are you not on the phone to the police? Yes, I am crying. Oh, oh my God. God. Do you need a picket sign? <sighs> okay. Please tell him to call. I did. I did. You're okay. No, I'm not. He just attacked no. me in the store and he's still following me. <laughs> what a performance. Not one real tear. Congratulations, honey, for making a complete ass of yourself and uploading it to the internet 
for all the world to see the ass you made of yourself. Oh, what have we here? A car chase. These things never end well. Anyone with a weak heart, turn away right now. Okay, we have a hole on the side of the Coke truck, but still operational. The SUV, um, no. Good thinking. Use the trees for cover. No way are they going to see you climb that fence. At least the cops on foot. The chopper hovering above? That's going to be a problem. Yeah, run alongside the toll houses. That should keep the cops on foot from spotting you. And maybe the chopper won't be able to relay your position. Careful! Stumbling over that debris is going to add a few seconds to your time. They're catching up! Good idea. Slow down to a casual walk. Act like nothing happened. No, that's not working. Exit. Stage left. Oh, man. He's on empty. He's just looking for a spot to catch his breath, think this out. Oh, yeah, those trees are excellent cover. Good idea. Backtrack. That should throw them off. Uh, this is chapter one. Uh, he's to the left under the trampoline. You copy? Oh, yeah, they copy. 
Anyway, that's about it for now. Thanks for stopping by and for tuning in. And until we talk again, I want you all to be well and enjoy life.